If you sign up for arborday.org and you become a member, you can get 10 free trees. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know you were filming. <clears throat> so if you sign up for to be a member of arborday. We signed up to be members of arborday.org and um, when you sign up to be a member, you get 10 free trees that come in a bag like this. And the 10 free trees that you get are very small, um, tiny little things. But we signed up for Arbor Day because we wanted to be able to get some trees for our property that we couldn't get at some of the local nurseries. So these 10 free trees are kind of uh, an extra bonus for us. We get to put them in the ground wherever we want. Hopefully they'll grow and do well. So in our 10 free tree pack, for, and, and the trees are based on your area. You'll get a chance to pick whether you want a mix grouping or if you want to get several trees that um, are all the same, but it'll be based upon where you're located. So th we took the mixed pack. It comes with an Eastern white pine. Um, there is a Colorado blue spruce in here. Now we've actually planted a couple of these much larger this year but um, we never get sick of the, the blue spruces. That's this one right here. And when you get these trees, you're supposed to plant them right away. We did not. So what I would suggest you do is soak them before you put them in the ground. Try and keep the roots damp if you're not gonna plant them right away. The way to identify all these trees is they'll have little paint marks on them, or they should. I'm having a hard time finding paint marks on some of them. But the ones that I do have, I've got a gold, blue, pink, red, there's a white, and looks like a silver. So I should be able to identify all these trees based on their paint markings. Of course, I've got a couple in here that do not have paint markings. So that's an orange. Okay, so let's see. In our tree pack, we have American redbud, pin oak, red oak, silver maple, white flowering dogwood, white pine, sugar maple, river birch, red maple, and Colorado blue spruce. I'm gonna plant these in different areas around the property, and um, most of them are gonna go up somewhere near our house in this vicinity, and then the rest, uh, two of them, I think it's going to be the eastern white pine and our pin oak we're gonna put out in our field <coughs> in random places where we think we could use a little more shade for the animals. And the main reason is pin oak isn't a true oak. It's like an oak tree, it grows fast, it looks like an oak tree, the leaves look like oak tree leaves, um, and it's very fast growing, but it's not a true oak. We figured we'd just put it out in the field and let it grow however it wants to grow. Um, and then the eastern white pine Shauna is not a fan of pine trees, period. Spruce trees, she loves. She loves firs, but pines with pine needles, um, she is, she's not a fan of. So I'm going to plant all these trees. Um, they do come with planting instructions. Uh, and something you'll notice is that they'll always tell you in the planting instructions, no fertilizer, no potting soil. And the reason why no potting soil it's because potting soil has a lot of additives to help things grow. You want these to be in natural topsoil. I do buy some topsoil that I mix in with the dirt when I put these in the ground. The topsoil has no additives to it, and um, so there's nothing that's going to spur these trees to start growing when they're supposed to be dormant. So I can identify each of these trees by their paint color. See the pin oak pink. So these two are going to go out into my field. American red bud. No paint. I've got a special spot for you. And one of the things that I'm really excited about 
and this is the sugar maple. It's this dark blue. This should be the sugar maple right here. That's going to be a cool tree. And when I put these in the ground, I'll probably put a little fence barrier up around them um, and kind of help them out for the first year that they're in the ground. So you're supposed to put these in the ground within a couple days of receiving them. We actually received these the week before Christmas, which was not an ideal planting time for me. So um, these have been sitting in the bag, dormant. You can check them. Where's the red? If you scrape your fingernail on the tree, you'll see that it's, it's got a little bit of green mark there. So that's how you can make sure that these are still alive. These are all still alive. Um, I've kept them moist. I had them, um, they come with kind of like a, a moist gel around the roots. Uh, after a week had gone by, I went and wrapped them up with a paper towel. And then uh, today I've soaked them in some water just before planting and they're finally gonna make it in the ground. So that's exciting. Um, but <clears throat> that's basically, I mean, it. these things will last longer than uh, you would expect out of the ground. So the first ones I'm gonna put in the ground, I'm gonna put them all in a row. We've got the blue spruce, my red, ma red maple, and then I'll come back for some of these others. I'm just gonna let these continue to soak while I'm planting. That way they don't dry out. They have time to kind of sit around and soak. We've been planting a lot of trees this year and a lot of that's because <clears throat> we had a lot of junk growing on the property. Um, weedy type trees and I've kept as much of it as I can. For the ones that we haven't been able to keep we have uh, that were just ill-placed or just really junky trees. Um, we've cut those down or removed them and we're going back now and planting some of the trees that we really want to see on the property.